studios in Canada, we give you Idol Band's promo video. Alright, today, this is my first video, my promo, so get ready for a car action. We give you 118 scale, Mercedes 500K, 1936 Special Roadster. It is one of the neatest cars I have ever seen and I got for my birthday. I really hope you uh, enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, so let's start this review. This Mercedes-Benz is beautiful. I really, really, really like it. Um, this is one of my first cars I ever got from the 1930s. So, um, you know, just take a look at it. It's got a beautiful, elegant front. Um, it's got a whole lot of lights, but they don't turn on because, um, well, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a model. Here we've got uh, two opening side doors, suicide doors. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've also got the, uh, the seat in the back that you sort of fold back, like so. Then, we've also got something that I never knew really existed, but an engine cover that opens up this way. As you can see, the engine has a lot of beautiful detail. Yeah. So, what do you think so far? I don't know if you've seen a lot, but it should get us somewhere. What do you think? Take a look. Take a look. Now... This Mercedes-Benz is beautifully well done. It's got, uh, it looks like it has chrome, but it's plastic. It's okay. Um, there, are some rough, there are some rough edges. There are some areas that maybe you should be really careful about. Um, so people, beware. If you have this model or you're planning to get this model, you should be aware that the bumper, if you decide to take it off, if you decide to take uh, the car off the stand like I decided to, the bumper is sort of... Um, well, movable. It's not really supposed to do that, but it's it, it does that. So just be very aware. It, it you know it can probably break off. It's very loose. I got it like that. Um, this this will move it, because it's plastic and it's it'll move around and stuff like that. So be careful because it's not really supposed to move around, but it does that. Um, this is it's fine. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty good. This is, uh, it, it moves around a little bit, so I'd be careful about that, too. Um, a lot of parts that stick out. Um, this I tried removing. It's, it, it might be removable, but I don't think it is, and I don't think you should really find out. Um, it's quite nice, actually. Now, um, if we move around to a different part of the car, let's move around to the back. Very well done interior. This is made by Maisto. So kudos to you, Maisto. Thank you for making this beautiful interior. Put this down so you can the rumble seat. Put down the rumble seat. So um, very nice. It shouldn't get too close because it's a bit fuzzy. Um, but uh, yeah, this you can put that back down. Um, this part of the wheel, you can see it from the bottom, so it doesn't look like it's cut. Uh, I don't. This is not removable either. So don't even don't try not to break it. Don't try. Um, and uh, on the back looks very nice, but these two these two bumpers can are very wiggly, so just watch that. Yeah, very wiggly, so I'd be also very careful about that too. So my models from Maisto have little problems, but they are still worth buying. So um, do not do not turn them down if they have edges like this, because I have a feeling all model cars will have their faults like that. In the back we have. Um, we have a gas cap that's not removable. Uh, you can't open it up. Uh, like I said, the back you can you can sort of try and take it out, but I don't suggest to do because it'll probably come off. Like I said, uh, it's got this rough edge right here. This this door opens. Open it up. There we go. Here you are, passenger side. Uh, we have um, gear lever. Uh, we've got the gas pedal, the brake pedal. And I believe there's a clutch. No? Yeah, there's a clutch there. There's a clutch in there. Um, yeah. Uh, be very careful around these edges, too, because they are very wiggly, too. They're not really supposed to move in a gear shift way, but, you know, it, it's sort of like that. Bench seat. Perfect. Love the bench seat. Sorry about the finger. Uh, the finger getting away. But, uh, love the bench seat. Looks very nice. By the way, it's not made of fabric. It's just plastic. So, um... Yeah, 
Uh, we can open this part. It's a little harder to open because we've got these two little valves here that, uh, that go to some part of the car. Um, so it's a little harder to open and close. So please, if you do buy this car, please be very careful. Or if you buy a car like this, um, careful. Um, closing it is a little bit of a trick. See, I'm art. Yeah, yeah. So you sort of have to, it takes maybe like few sec there we go takes a few seconds but you'll definitely get it as soon as it'll take some practice it took me a while to sort of figure out how to open and close this thing properly uh, by the way it doesn't shut all the way so don't try and like force it down because it, it, that's the way it closes um beautiful beautiful car um I want to know what you think of it I really hope you uh, really enjoy it um, but if you do get this car I do suggest you keep it away from your kids um, if they're under three, because I've I've had a cousin that was four and he took apart one of my uh, Thunderbirds. I was torn, but just keep it away from kids that are under four um, or five. Keep them away from that until they're maybe six, six, seven, and eight, and that's when they understand that uh, they should keep a distance away from this car or keep it on a high shelf. So, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. This model is from Maisto. I really hope you enjoyed my first video. I will start to weigh. I will start to weigh cars. Uh, just my uh, my uh, my thing for that is kind of away from my room right now. So um, I'll do uh, I'll do something else about that. I'll, we'll we'll do it in a different episode. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And um, take a look at my ads. Um, you know they give you sort of information. They they sort of tell you stuff like that so if you've watched this video thank you for watching and just one more rough edge the Mercedes symbol it's very flimmer. it's like it's yeah it, it's sort of sideways so um, just I'd be aware of that but uh, yeah so uh, thank you for watching this video uh, you'll see there should be more this is just my first video if I get more than let's say 50 let's say 30 views I'll uh, post more Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this. Idle Band is out.